Hey troops, this is Bob with another four minute fame and we've got Darren Rawls here in South Lake. How you doing Darren? Doing good man. I uh, came over here to visit some friends tonight and then watched the uh, TGR one for the road premiere. It was actually my first uh, viewing of the show and I was up in Alaska last April filming with these guys so awesome. got a little uh, footage coming up. What do you like better, chasing the podium or chasing the camera? Uh, it's all about just chasing downhill. You know, it's a, and the podium, the camera, you know, comes along with it. But uh, to get on top of something like for racing is always in the gate, just going 100% to the finish line, knowing that I left everything on the hill. And now it's uh, just trying to like pick fun lines that you can be a little more creative with. Get on top of something that's gonna scare you, and just like kind of you, f you find what you're made of, you know, on top of these, some of these lines. And then it comes down to just like relying on your skills and the good judgment call and, and going for it. And, I think that kind of feeling is like, that's what I get in free, the free skiing side. This huge exhilaration, you know, it's like massive kind of rush. Yep. And yeah. I don't know, it's just, uh, I've been really lucky in, in my life of skiing, like growing up here in Tahoe, then going back east to ski, like, you know, just hone my racing skills and on the US ski team and then like race with the World Cups. And now I'm trying to, you know, just get out there and like Have broaden some fun with your skiing, huh? I've always had fun. But <laughs> Not it's a little more loose, you know, it's like, there's less pressure, but actually, you know, there's a lot of pressure stepping up and filming for these guys. Yeah, it's do or die pressure, TGR, which is I mean, a little you gotta different. You got to be on your game, and sometimes you crash, and uh, yep. th those things don't make the movie. But uh, it's about just trying to inspire, really. Good, good. Bonsai tour. Okay, back in the I'm day, rocking the shirt tonight. Back in the day, yeah, when yeah. you were about 10 or 11 years old, a whole posse of guys from Minnesota came out to Squaw Valley, filmed a movie called Hot Dogger. Yeah. All right, and they had the Chinese downhill scene. Is that what we're seeing with the Bonsai Tour? Is that what that is? The Bonsai Tour is way gnarlier. <laughs> the Chinese <laughs> downhill. What the F? Is the Chinese are down here? Chinese downhill. Well, it goes back to grassroots of like kind of racing. Like for me, I grew up skiing at Alpine and uh, racing on Hot Wheels Gully with a bunch of friends. And like I raced all over Kirkwood, Squaw, Sugar Bowl. That's why I ski now mostly as a Sugar Bowl, but. It's, uh, I've always liked going fast. And then like the head-to-head -head competition is a lot of fun. It's like motocross. I do that a little bit in the summertime. Yep. And, you know, we have four at a time. I go to the gate, race down natural terrain, natural conditions. And on all these like sick resorts, like we have Alpine, Kirkwood, Squaw, and, and uh, Sugar Bowl coming up this oh, next great. season. More events this year, huh? Yeah, we have four total. But it's just, uh, it, it showcases the skills and the balls of like those willing to get in the gate and go. And sure. Now the winner of the heat, they don't get a trophy, they get to race you at the end, is that right? Well, the winner, the men's ski winner from each stop lines up with me for one like final, super final race. Like, I don't I don't race in any of the events. I know you don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm out there kind of watching, getting like blown away by You're some You're on of a throne, aren't you? Well, I just, I want to try and help inspire, kind of be the ambassador for this, this tour. And 2011 was our first year. We're going to 2012 with year two. Okay, I'm have, really excited. Have you, have you been beaten yet? Um, head to head in that format? No. I didn't think so. But, uh, you know, we'll see how long I could like, keep it how going. How many more years, huh, buddy? Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna keep going. Like, I mean, this is a lifelong sport, which is really cool. And it is. I got these, like, four year old twins now, and I'm introducing them to skiing. But I skied with my grandfather before he passed away when he was 82. Yep. And I've skied with guys who are like 91. Yeah, are they with... getting free tickets yet? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, Darren, thanks for talking with us. Bob, thank you. You, you definitely. Thanks for coming out to uh, TGI's One for the Road.